So about a year ago, I was introduced to artwork by a artist who's still alive named James Terrell. Uh, I first experienced the art when I went to Claremont, California. Uh, it got me more interested in kind of this artist and, and what he was doing with, with form and light. So this artist, James Terrell, he's famous for uh, kind of architectural work with, with light and form. He's also famous for just sculptures, objects, light spaces that uh, are really immersive. And I think they've captured a lot of the interest of really people around the world who maybe are not experiencing art in this format. Um, so yeah, about a year ago, I got introduced to that to that artist and I started looking up kind of his, his work online. Um, I think one of the more famous uh, buyers of his art was I think Kendall Jenner who purchased his artwork for $750,000 so um, that specific artwork I'll put a picture of it up here uh, is quite large it's maybe 50 to 60 inches tall and 45 to 55 inches wide what got me interested was two things. One was she was describing the complexity of the installation of this artwork in her house. So um, there was some sort of lighting going on, some sort of electronics going on. Uh, it's embedded in a wall. So it got me really curious as to how the light sculpture was actually working. Um, was it projection? Was it LEDs? Was like, how is this sculpture even working? Uh, the second thing that got me interested was that uh, the sculpture, you know, sold, she bought it for 750000 So to me, as kind of a person who likes to make things, I said, you know, obviously you're paying a lot for the artistic um, vision that this artist has. And obviously artwork, you know, goes for, for a lot of money. But the underlying technology, whether it's projection or whether it's LEDs, um, probably is not that costly of, you know, $750,000. So I did a lot of research about kind of how these sculptures were made. I've seen maybe a few other people do these sculptures online. Uh, I'll link some uh, videos below. There's, I think one graduate student I found who's in material science. He worked on trying to replicate uh, one of James Terrell's uh, styles of artwork, which is the, the white box that, that I've been talking about. Um, so I've seen kind of the work by this grad student, but really uh, no one besides James Terrell has really perfected this artwork. So I, you know, kind of wanted to take a stab at it with my knowledge of electronics and knowledge of, I don't know, plastic and, and suppliers. So uh, yeah, the past six or eight months or so I've been kind of doing research and, and looking at the different ways, uh, the different types of plastics I could use, the different types of light LEDs I could use. Um, and I'm pretty close to what I think is like the ideal situation. So the initial setup takes maybe 30 seconds. Um, when you get the sculpture, um, you have to plug it into your computer. When you plug it into your computer, you'll navigate to a website that will install some software on the chip. Uh, after that, all you have to do is enter your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password for your household. Um, that will then give the ability for the sculpture to be connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, so going into the software itself, um, you'll navigate to a specific URL for the sculpture. That URL uh, will like remain static as long as you've done that initial setup process. So getting into the app here, and I will put a um, screen capture recording on the on the side of the video. Um, so we have a couple situations. <clears throat> so I've had a set, what, what I call segments. So what I've gone here is just done, not really programming, but just telling the sculpture, like what is the inner ring and what is the outer ring. So I've just defined it here in the, in the, in the setting. So segment one just means I think the inner one and then segment zero would, would be the, the outer one. So just to show you kind of what's possible here, um, the simplistic thing to do is that, um, let's see, let me 
change the segment, the outer segment, uh, so that you can kind of see the effect. So as I'm dragging my finger and I let go of my finger, um, the 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 effect of the outer um, the outer ring will you'll notice that the outer ring is changing, but the inner ring is change is remaining static. Um, so that's the simplistic thing you can do. Uh, is just changing like that outer and inner color. Uh, so going into the inner color, if I just change back to segment one, so now what's going to happen is the inner segment is able to change. So I can change it now, and you'll start to see that the inner segment is becoming a different color. And I kind of like the red and blue pattern. Um, so you might ask, like, that's cool, Kyle, but it's kind of boring, like, uh, I don't know, I kind of want to do more, do more with this. So uh, one thing that WLED is really great at is animations. So I can show you some animations that WLED has built in and maybe uh, like we can program some ones in the future. So let me go back to the inner segment. Um, so you'll see on the screen, but WLED is just has an incredible set of animations that we can do. Um, again, this is like a live demo. I haven't prepared anything. This is just me making stuff up, but let's just select a few um, animations. So this animation is called Android. Um, looks kind of interesting. Uh, maybe let's go to blends candle. So one thing you can do here, so I have a color palette. So with the animations, they're going to take uh, a color palette. So depending on what I set here, the effects of the animations will, will change. And let me just go through a few of these. Um, yeah. So let's see. So you can imagine like there are some really cool animations going on here. Um, and of course in a live demo, let me just change, change up the colors here. Uh, in a live demo, it is kind of hard for me to explain. Like we have some some colors here. Um, so yeah, it is hard for me to f show the full capabilities of the sculpture. But these are some of the um, the animations that uh, WLED provides, and I think. What's happening here is just the outer loop. I have it on really slow, so that's probably what's messing it up. Uh, yeah, so let me go to maybe just a few. So I think it is somewhat clear. So yeah, I just wanted to show kind of some of the various uh, aspects of these animations. So now let me get to the inner loop. So this is a good one. Let, let me stick with that. <laughs> so let me go back to the inner segment. Um, so now the inner segment, uh, I believe I can change the color palette here. So what I think, <clears throat> what I think is interesting about the inner the the sculpture is that the colors are really interacting with each other in a, in a unique way. Um, so whatever the outer color is going to be, the inner color um, is going to blend with that in a specific way. So you'll really get like, I don't know, probably a million different combinations. So what we can do is now change the inner. And so the inner, the inner sculpture, the inner side, you'll notice that um, you can't really see it, but there's like an inner ring here. And that inner ring has a different pattern than the outer ring. So you'll see the white, there's like a white uh, inner ring. So that's having a different pattern than the, than the outer ring. Let me change that. So yeah. Um, yeah, so you'll notice the inner pattern. Let's just see a few of these. You'll notice the inner pattern kind of has, and we can play around with these again, like. I'm kind of week two into learning this software, so I just wanted to get kind of an initial read on how the software works. And 
Um, and what, what are kind of the possibilities of, of the sculpture? Um, so yeah, I think that's the end of the video. Again, like I wanted to give just a brief overview because I think a lot of people have maybe seen the, the post on Instagram or Facebook about what I've been working on. And I think just a more in-depth video uh, would give people kind of insight into what's going on uh, with the sculpture. So yeah. You know, I do want to make these for for friends. Um, so I haven't come up with like a final cost yet, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to put the video out there so that I can gather feedback. And again, if you have feedback, I'm still kind of refining the the materials of the sculpture. So you'll probably see the um, the tolerances of of the sculpture and the the quality of the sculpture uh, improve, like as I find new materials and as I find like new ways to do it. So yeah, this is what it is right now. And please like give me feedback. Like if you think something about this is stupid, let me know. And if you, like, if you think a bigger sculpture would be cooler or a smaller sculpture, or maybe you want some different Wi-Fi features, um, like please let me know. And hopefully I can integrate that feedback into version three. Um, so yeah, again, this is like version two. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and um, thanks.